There are a lot of ways to calculate return, and one is the concept of holding period return. Holding period return is the return that you receive over some specified holding period. So let's see how you compute that. It's not a real difficult calculation, but it's a, it's a basic calculation. Holding period return, we'll call it H, HPR, is going to be equal to any income you receive during the period plus any capital gains okay, or losses for that matter all divided by the investment value. So by income we mean interest or dividends. By capital gains we mean what do you receive anything extra that you receive when you sell the item. So if you bought the stock for a hundred and you sold it for a hundred and ten you have a ten dollar capital gain. So let's write that down. Capital gains are going to be equal to ending investment value minus beginning investment value. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose that you, you um, the price when you purchase this item is a hundred. Suppose one year later, one period later. Now holding period return can be for one day, one year, one month, ten years, it can be any period that you want. And let's say that you sell it for 115. And let's say you get a dividend next period equal to 5. Your holding period return is going to be equal to the $5 you received in income plus your capital gains is going to be 115 minus 100 and that's all going to be divided by 100. That's the original amount of your investment. So that's going to be 20 over 100, 0 0.20, or 20%. So again, you can calculate holding period return for any time period. You might be interested in your holding period return for an investment you made five years ago. That's not the same as annual return or compound return those will calculate in in other tutorials this is just what your return is over that period I mean you can look and see oh I had a hundred percent return but if that's over a 50 year time period that's not a particularly good annual return on the other hand you might get a one percent return but if that's over a two-day period that's a pretty darn good return so um, holding period return gives us an idea of what you earned over this holding period, but it, it doesn't tell us quite as much as we would like. So we'll generally look at other returns other than holding period return.